Neo's Q2 2023 earnings are about to drop, and the anticipation is palpable. With the stock having seen some turbulence recently, can Neo's latest financials give it the boost it needs? Let's delve into what we can expect and how it might influence Neo's stock trajectory. All right, let's take a look at the news. Neo, the renowned electric vehicle maker, has seen its shares dip by about 8% in the past month, which is quite a contrast to the San P500 index that has only given up 3%. While Neo's stock has risen by 11% this year, it's still lagging behind the San P500's impressive 14.75% ascent. This has left investors pondering, is now the time to buy? One of the pressing issues that Neo's management will need to address in their upcoming earnings report is their delivery target for 2023. Despite witnessing a significant surge in deliveries in July, Neo is still a long way from its ambitious 250,000 delivery target for the year. This means Neo will have to step on the gas to not only meet the expectations for this quarter but also to hit its annual target. In a strategic move to counter Tesla's pricing cuts, Neo has rolled out its own price reductions. While this might seem like a smart move to stay competitive, it could potentially dent its revenue. Given the company's previous revenue per delivery metrics, there are concerns about whether Neo can meet its EPS expectations, especially since it's now operating with slimmer gross margins. However, there's a silver lining. Neo operates in China, which has recently emerged as the second fastest growing EV market in terms of sales. This presents a massive opportunity for Neo, especially considering that China accounts for nearly 60% of global EV sales volume. But the real challenge for Neo lies in ramping up its production to meet the soaring demand and fending off fierce competitors like Tesla. If Neo can pull off a stellar earnings report, coupled with robust delivery guidance for the upcoming quarters, it could make a compelling case for its valuation. For the quarter ending in April, Analysts are projecting Neo to report a loss of 41 cents per share on a revenue of $1.27 billion. This is in contrast to the same quarter last year when the company reported a loss of 24 cents per share on a revenue of $1.48 billion. For the entire year, the expected loss stands at $1.02 per share, which is a 21.4% increase year over year. However, the full-year revenue is anticipated to surge by 62% year-over-year, reaching $11.62 billion. There you have it. Neo's journey is filled with challenges and opportunities. If you found this deep dive enlightening, make sure to smash that like button. And if you're new here, hit subscribe and comment subscribe below. We'd love to hear from you. Before you head out, let us know. Do you think Neo can hit its ambitious delivery target for 2023?